Wow, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I don't know what time you're watching this, but I am just glad that you are connecting, right? Like always, you don't lose, you always win. I want you to come out with a fight inside of you, right? We're coming to an end of the year. Ugh, this year has been, I don't know, 2020? You can comment below, tell me how that year has, how this year has been for you. For me, I feel like I was in, I was uh, at home under home confinement. Uh, just a lot of things have really, had, you know, that I don't really want to go into detail, but 2020 is coming to an end. So it's time to get up and start moving forward because the year is about to end. And remember, it doesn't matter how you started this year, it's how we're gonna end it, right? How we are going to end it. And right before we get started, I'm just gonna spend a few minutes with you. If you have not liked, like our uh, YouTube channel, subscribe, share it, share it with your friends, right? It's a, a, a new year is coming. Let's become stronger together, right? And if even if it takes us week by week, we're gonna, we're gonna need each other, uh, whether it's the end of January, whether it's the beginning of February, or whether it's uh, Valentine's Day, we're gonna need each other. And let's get stronger week by week. So share it, share it with your friends, right? Amen. All right, so let's pray as we get started. God, we are listening. Speak to us. We are listening today. Amen. All right. So the passage I, I'm going to pull for the title, if you need a title, it's moving forward, is in Philippians 3, 13, 14, in the Passion Translation. It says, I do not depend on my own strength to accomplish this. I forget all of the past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. I run straight, in verse 14 it says, I run straight for the divine in invitation of reaching the heavenly goal and gaining the victory prize through the anointing of Jesus. So going back to verse 13, it says, however, I do have one compelling focus. I forget all of the past as I fasten my heart to the future. So in another translation in that section, it says, reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Reaching forward. We're going to move forward, right? You know, moving forward is, is not the same as moving on. Let me say it again. Moving forward is not the same thing as moving on. You, you see, some people are the same way they were yesterday because they, they, have moved forward, but their minds remain paralyzed by their past. I'm going to say that again. Some people have moved forward, but they remain paralyzed because of their past mentally. You cannot stay paralyzed mentally because of past hurts. Okay, 2020, I got hurt. I got offended. I got rejected. No, 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 no. For 2021, my New Year's resolution is that I am not going to stay paralyzed mentally. I am not going to stay paralyzed mentally because of hurts, offenses, rejection. Today, we are going to move forward, right? You're going to move forward towards your goal. We cannot lose heart. We, we got to keep hope alive within us. But at the same time, we got to reach out to each other because we need each other, right? Only thing that keeps you from reaching out is pride or your past. It keeps you from reaching out for help because you, you care so much about what they're going to think. Well, here, let me give you some advice. Between you and I, if you reach out to us, we are not gonna tell the world what you are going through. Why? Because you're gonna stay connected with us week by week, day by day. Listen to the podcast. Listen to the message over and over. You get a different revelation every time you listen to it. Stay connected, stay strong, but don't isolate yourself. One thing that keeps us from reaching out, again, is pride. Your past keeps you hostage. Your past is a kryptonite to you. It weakens you, and you cannot develop a, 
You, you have to develop a solid strategy for change that includes supportive friends, positive supportive friends that are believers, accountability partners, mentors, coaches, people that are going to add and multiply to you, people that are going to strive and thrive to get you the answers to every question you have. People that will have sympathy. Why? What is sympathy? Meaning they can relate to your pain, to your hurt, to your rejection. People will have, you need people that will have sympathy to understand exactly what you are going through. You have to stay connected because isolation is not good for you. You cannot contain yourself in solitary confinement, meaning that you're just stuck at home, you're mad, you're angry, you're upset, you're depressed. Now you're thinking suicidal thoughts that it'd be better without you in this world. No, no, sir, no, ma'am. The world will miss something so genuine and pure and real and the world needs you so when you contain yourself in a solitary confinement meaning that you're going to have a plan and you have a plan to get out on your own no 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 you have to find a group of supportive believers or accountability accountability partners a mentor a coach just like you're watching now whether I am a mentor or a coach to you or a believer, I am going to speak life into you and you have your duty is to receive it, believe it and apply it. That is your duty. And, 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 you know, there's going back to the suicidal thoughts. You have suicidal thoughts because you just think life is just so unjust and it does not understand you. I can relate to that. Whether you think that life is so unjust, I, it, it's, I can relate to that. I've been there where no one understands what I'm going through. The world doesn't understand what I'm going through. But you know what? We're going to move forward this year. You have to stay connected. We can grow together stronger, right? We, You will always come out with a fight inside of you after every message, whether it's my husband's message or this message, or maybe it's the podcast. Whatever it is that you're listening to, that you have a fight inside of you. And if we, if it's going to have to take us week by week, day by day, we are here for you. Stay connected. Don't shun God. People just want to shun God out of the picture or they want to etch him out of the picture. Don't blame God for your failures in your life. Don't blame God for the traumatic event you just went through. I want you to be encouraged today. Stay connected. Stay strong. God makes all things new. And the limitations of your past become a distant memory where there is zero tolerance for distractions or for the lies of the enemy. If you can get that in your spirit, that you stay connected, you stay strong, we read the word together, we pray together, we're going to come in January into 21 days of fasting and agreeing together and prayer and prayer and, and staying connected, you're going to have zero tolerance for distractions for 2021. God does not tend you to just, he, you know, I, I always hear people talk about the miracles that happen in the Bible. God doesn't intend for you to just read about the miracles, but he wants you to experience the miracles, to dream God-sized dreams, to live powerfully, powerfully, and passionately for, the, for Christ and for his kingdom every day. So the 2021, you're going to move forward, right? Everything that we're going, everything we go through is only a measure to mature, mature us. A measure to mature us, to make us stronger, right? To, to help us or propel us to move forward and not backwards. If there is one certainty in life, it is that, it is that things will not always go according to your plan. We always make plans, all of us. You see, it's okay to have a plan, but sometimes those plans don't work. Maybe God wants to direct you in another way. We just have to be sensitive to say, you know what? Uh, this is not according to my plan today, but I'm led by you, right? I'm directed by you. It's really hard for me because I'm an A-type person and I live by, by time management, schedules, deadlines, and things like that. And so when something redirects me, it's like, oh, I just got distracted or derailed and then I blow up. But, but when it's a God plan, 
we should not feel that way. And so for 2021, God's plan is for you to live prosperous, victorious, letting go of the past, not letting it paralyze your future, right? Mentally, we have to trust God in the process. Remember that he never leaves us nor forsakes us. He, he has sent his Holy Spirit to help us. So when 2021 comes, the Holy Spirit will guide us, lead us, counsel us, comfort us. He's going to be there for us in all. All right. So you're moving forward. Another thing, we are all imperfect. We all make mistakes, but we have been saved by grace. And as long as you recommit yourselves to his goal, you will be able to recover from all your mistakes, right? Leaving 2020 behind, recover from all your mistakes. You have to go easy on yourself. A lot of us are hard on ourselves and, and we want to stay there stuck, always reminding ourselves, you know, what, how, what such a big failure we are, or maybe we said the wrong thing and we should not have said it. And now we're living by what we said. We can't, we have to let it go. We have to let it go and keep going. God is saying that you are victorious. You are an overcomer. I know with confidence inside that you can fight this one too. Stay strong, stay healthy, stay connected. We will see you on the next video, all right? I know it's a little rough. Maybe some of us are ending the year a little rough, or maybe some of us, it got better. Praise God. But for those of us that are still having a rough ending, God is there with you. And we are going to move forward this year. Amen. All right. So I'm glad you connected with us. Let's pray right where you're at. Hope you receive, believe, and apply, 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 apply. It's going to help you in the long run. All right. So let's pray. Father God, today we declare we are victorious. We are victorious. We will overcome every obstacle that's going to come at us this week. We're going to stand strong, Lord. We're not going to let our past, our kryptonite weaken us, that Lord, we're going to we're going to stand strong this week. God, you have a great plan for us. Protect us, defend us, direct our steps. New week, new you. Be empowered, stay engaged, stay connected. Let's grow together. Love God, love people, serve others and change the world. Wow, hope you were encouraged by the message. Right now, we wanna thank you for all you generous givers, right? As you give today, I wanna to read the scripture to you and speak this into your life today. In Matthew 6, it says, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Above all else, he will give you everything you need. So right now, as you give, I pray that God's hand be upon your life, be upon your family, be upon your health, and whatever you're believing him for, he will give you everything you need. That's what it says here in the Bible. I believe that for you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.